In today's video, I answer how long should I give heartworm prevention tablets for to my dog? So the person who wrote this in says that their vet tells them that they should give them to her for nine months, and yet a family member's vet says to give it to their dog for six months. Who is right? Well, HeartGuard was the tablet that was mentioned, and absolutely that needs to be given monthly, and it's given to prevent serious heartworm infection. Not only is it very serious, but it can also be life-threatening. Now, heartworm is spread by mosquito bites, and it's found in all 50 US states, and it's also present in Canada. But being mosquito, mosquito spread and derived, the risk period is really going to vary depending on which times of the year the mosquito population remains active. And that's going to vary massively between different areas. So in some, some parts of the country, some parts of the world, that might be a year round risk. But in other parts, then it's going to be a much more narrow window where the potential for your dog to contract and to suffer from heartworm is a risk. So that's really where the big variation is going to be. Also, while the general recommendation may be given for a specific area, it may be that certain years they need to have a longer treatment period. For example, if an autumn is particularly mild, then it might be that mosquitoes are active for longer in the year. If the spring comes early as well, then it might be that where six months might be normally able to cover and prevent heartworm infection, you know, you might need to spread it out to, to nine months. And because of this variation and the serious nature of heartworm infection, you know, some people may prefer to play it safe and treat, or if their vets recommend treatment with heartworm preventatives like HeartGuard tablets for longer than maybe absolutely necessary, just erring on the side of caution. So that's definitely something to consider. But you should talk about these things with your vet. You should you know they're going to understand what the local risks are what the lo lo local risk periods are what the mosquito activity is and they're going to be the best person to to discuss those risks with you and to give the recommendation about what's appropriate for your dog in the part of the world that you're living in so what's right for one person may be completely different for for others and obviously in other parts of the world or in other parts of the country certainly when it comes to canada um, and the far north you know heartworm is not going to be a problem so definitely talk to your vets and that goes for any parasite control because in different parts of the world we worry about different things so it might be sand flies when it comes to leash mania um, it might be just fleas and ticks and ticks are particularly prevalent at a certain time of year but the situation is also always changing so while one year you might want to treat for that six months like i say as time goes on as well and with climate change that recommendation may change so definitely check this out with your vet as well